Hello, hello, my amazing people. My name is Zego, the Ambo freelancer journalist from Nairobi, Kenya. So, guys, a story ambayo ya windy, um, scan ambayo lipato kufariki maineo za Canada. Hii ni bada tuya kudrown kwenye swimming pool ni kwamba mazishi yake. E, sasa hivi itafanyika maineo za kisi. Ambapo sasa hivi ni kwamba aha, ametoka maineo za Leaf Funeral Home. So, the families wamesha chukua mwili waki wendi kutoka Leaf Funeral Home and then they are now proceeding um, paka maineo za kisi ambapo ni jani almost kitu kama 7 hours ni wafiki manyumbani. As you can see guys, a preparation have been done, everything has been done, the family was here and uh, everybody you can see that uh, the plants are ready now. They want to rest uh, this lady and then say what to Arudi normal because uh, it has been a long journey almost now taking them almost um, uh, one to two months uh, just uh, looking for a way on how all of these uh, should be done. Most of the people said that uh, uh, Helen Wendy was buried. No, uh, the other ceremony that happened in Canada that was just a memorial ceremony and after that <clears throat> He was taken to memorial home and after that he traveled yari mwili wake kwa leto maeneo za Kenya that is on uh, on uh, Saturday yeah now from Saturday and uh, and uh, uh, Sunday the, the the body was at uh, a leaf in her home mpaka wa leo hii that now they are now taking her you can see the family is there the mother the father the, the everybody is here now they want to take the body of uh, Helen Wendy kutoka hapa maeneo za Leaf Funeral, uh, Leaf Funeral Home uh, to maeneo za Kisi ambapo watapata uh, kulala leo alafu kesho yake it will be the ceremony the burial ceremony alafu baada ya tazikwa alafu pia sasa everybody will now be at peace imekuwa ni jani sana you remember the family the father saying how imekuwa ni difficult because it was their first time because they have never received anybody they have never had lost anybody in the other uh, outside this country so it was a process that they use uh, you know they had to you know face one two three challenges but at long last they pray that uh, everybody who intervene and everybody who came through to help them they appreciate and also the media fraternity who aired their story so that they could get assistance so guys uh, uh, let's wait and see